What is going on YouTube? My name's Glenn. This is NTT and grab your pinches of salt because today we're looking at another leak of none other than the 3070 Ti. And if you guys are excited for this card like I am, go ahead and smash that like button, hit subscribe, ring that bell, and let me know down below when you're ready for this card to hit the ground. But without further delay, let's jump into what we have. So jumping into what we have today, guys, we're looking at a leak from Copiite 7 Kimmy's Twitter feed, who's been really reliable for RTX 30 series leaks. So that's why I didn't feel too bad showing you guys this and getting your hopes up possibly on a file skew being picked. So we have right here on October 22nd, Copiite said, I heard a new spec of GA102 between the 3080 and the 3070. Obviously guys, we knew this was gonna be a 3070 Ti from the beginning. And then on October 23rd, he said a GA102-150, 7,424 FP32, 320-bit bus. Now right there, we thought, okay, obviously this is just a very slightly cut down 3080. And it's probably going to have 10 gigs of memory, especially because of the 320-bit bus. Basically, a cut down 3080 is what we were looking at. And this has been done before, guys, by NVIDIA. They did this with a 1070 Ti, which was so very close to a 1080. So this is not outlandish to think that they may do this again, especially because the 1070 Ti sold really well. So moving on to November 2nd, Copiite said the story of the RTX 3070 Ti is very interesting. First, it was based on a GA104-400, but canceled. Second, it was based on a GA102-150, but also canceled. Third, we don't know yet. That was as of November 2nd, according to Copiite. Coming into November 19th, guys, that was just a couple days ago, Copiat says maybe the RTX 3070 Ti is GA103-300, 7,424 FP32, 320-bit bus GDDR6X. And this would fit with, once again, the right between the 3080 and the 3070 with the GA102-150, except it's just a GA103, which is a unicorn of a die, guys. But the good news about this is this makes a little bit more sense because the GA102, as we know, is being used for the 3080 and 3090. That's a harder to bend chip. Now, a GA103 should be a little bit easier. You should have a little bit better yield, not as good of a yield as a 104. But especially with it being a unicorn chip, it makes it kind of hard to believe that they would swap to this and they couldn't get the performance they needed out of a 104. But perhaps that's just what it is. And they're just having to make this hard choice and start a new die but this is exciting because this to me looks more like a final skew we know nvidia is having problems with supply from samsung with their 8 nanometer so obviously bending chips with ga102 is obviously harder to do that's why you're finding much more 3070s out there than you'll find 3080s or 3090s there's a purpose and a reason behind that guys so if they can put the 3070 ti on a different die than the GA102, possibly they can bend more chips and they can get more out to people. But like I said before, I'm surprised they can't get this kind of performance they're looking for out of the GA104. Nonetheless, guys, that's what we have for today. It's just an interesting leak, something to consider. And if you guys are excited about the 3070 Ti like I am, this is important because I think the 3070 Ti is going to be the gaming card for 1440p gaming if it comes in at a price of $600. It may just be the best price to performance card on the market. But let me know what you guys think down below. And thanks for everybody that's been liking all the videos and commenting and subscribing, guys. The channel's grown so much. Thank y'all so much. Y'all rock. I'm signing out. Adios, guys.